So here we are in our virtual reality sailing training app. And this one's about uh, points of sale. So this is going to be really fun. So we're going to actually, instead of just looking at a diagram on, you know, in a book or whatever and learn, you know, these are the points of sale, we're actually going to be sailing the boat and we're going to learn exactly what are the points of sale. And, and what it refers to really is what are you in relative to the wind, the relative direction to the wind, to the boat. Um, if you learn these points of sail, somebody can say, hey, I'm on a beam reach, and you'll know exactly uh, what is going on. So here we are. Um, just a quick orientation. Wind is right there. That's where it's coming from. In this uh, app, it's always coming from 12 o'clock. That's how we've set it up. And if you look around, we've got all the clock numbers on the water. So 12 o'clock, that's where the wind's coming from. Obviously, 6 o'clock is right over there, and that's where the wind's going too. All right, and that's across the wind, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock is across the wind over there. So um, here we are. Um, this is about as close to the wind that we can sail. Um, the red zone that you see there, that means you really can't sail there. That's called the no-go zone. Um, and what it means is that you really can't sail. If you try to sail in there, the wind's coming too close to the front of the boat and you won't get any power uh, from the boat. In fact, you'll end up just flapping the sails and nothing happening. So at about one o'clock, that's about the closest that you can sail relative to the wind. And so what this is called, and it's right there, it's called a close haul. So we are close hauled and we're on port. Now, what does that mean? Well, so the left-hand side of the boat, that's the left-hand side of the boat there, and there's the right-hand side of the boat over there. Port is the left-hand side of the boat, and that is the starboard side of the boat over there. Starboard is right, port is left, and the way you remember it is port and left have the same number of letters. So uh, this is the port side of the boat, so we are on port, and what that means is that the wind is coming from the port side of the boat. All right, so we are close to the wind, we're close hauled on port. So now what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna bear away uh, to two o'clock. There we go, and we'll speed up. And what we have to actually do is just let the sails out just a little bit because the wind is not balanced on the sails and we can talk about that in a, another uh, video. And we'll just tighten this mainsail up. So now, number two, a clock that's called a close reach and again we're still on port so close haul is at one o'clock close reach is at two o'clock all right so let's bear away to three o'clock and let's see what happens so right here now the wind is directly a beam of us so the wind's coming from over there at 12 o'clock and that's a beam of the boat and that means we are on a beam reach on port and if you can see the arrow right up here um, it's directly across and so what we need to do is set, let the sail out just a little bit he's a bit and too tight that's about there probably want to let that one out a bit too maybe a bit about there okay so let's go down to four o'clock and right now the wind's starting to get slightly from behind us just gonna let the sails out a little bit just trim it out. Let me say a little bit. We're at four o'clock and we're on a broad reach. So these are just names that you're going to have to remember. So if you remember, close haul, close reach, beam reach, broad reach. So we're going to go down to five o'clock. And this is called a deep broad reach. And it's not labeled here, and not too many people um, talk about a deep broad reach. So let me say it out a bit more. So we can trim it. Kind of a perfectionist, always like to have my sails trimmed. So that's a deep broad reach, and again on port. All right, so let's go down to six o'clock. And remember, the wind will be directly behind us. And there it is right there. So now we're running downwind, and that's the danger of running downwind is you'll actually jive like that before you know it. So we're still running downwind. Now the wind is gonna be start is on our starboard side. So it's coming from over there right now. So it's on our starboard side. So we're on a broad reach, actually technically a deep broad reach on starboard. We come up to eight. That's the definition of a broad reach. 
and we're going to come up to a beam reach where the wind is directly across us. This is a beam reach. I'm going to trim in the sails just a little bit. It's starting to flap. This is starting to flap, so we'll bring this in. A bit more. All right, let's come up to 10 o'clock. Close reach on starboard. The wind's coming from the right side of our boat. And then we're going to come up to 11 o'clock. And that is a close haul on starboard. All right. So, and then if we turn into the wind, we're in the no-go zone. All right. So notice the speed completely drops off, and the boat really doesn't know what to do. The sails flap, and we'll come across. That was a tack across to one o'clock, which is a close haul on port again. All right. Hope you really enjoyed that introduction to. Uh, close haul, close reach, beam reach, 4 o'clock, that's a broad reach, 5 o'clock's a deep broad reach, running downwind is 6, 7, deep broad reach, 8, a broad reach, 9 o'clock, beam reach, 10 o'clock, close reach, 11 o'clock, close haul, directly into the wind is sailing into the no-go zone.